Yes, you're seeing correct. We bought another E series. And we're using the sprint to jump her, mate. The sprint was lonely, so we bought a friend. See, we've got to have matching cars, yin and yang. Oh, yeah. EB XR8. Falcon S. This thing is immaculate. Even just like the door jams are just spotless. Interior, spotless, sagging roof line, that's that's standard with your Fords, but manual. Oh yeah. Condition was we bought it without starting it. Because the battery was dead. So we're about to find out. Really dead the battery. <laughs> All the motors seized. Old kick test. Ah, mate, she's straight. So what do we got here? We got a same car but in black. What have we done? We found a gem. Found a gem, mate. So we didn't we didn't need more work on our hands, but when something this good comes up at a cracker price, you move all your jobs back and you go get it. Yep, that's what we did. So it's a I don't know how we did it, we did it, but it's a 91 model EB XR8. First of the XR8s. Um, how many Ks on it? Uh, 110. 110. 110,000 Ks. Manual, full stock, all original. Crazy clean, like, can't believe it. It's too clean. It's too clean, yeah. The only problem was it with the window we had to change. Yeah, we changed That was the broken. We had to pull the weather shield off, but we'll put that back on. We flushed all the fluids. Even though they were bloody golden. Yeah, I know. Like it was amazing. It must have just been serviced before it got stored away. Um, so yeah, it's been sitting for a few years. So we're just going over it just to make sure. Like, it hasn't really needed much, but we just did a normal fluid flush, and all the bushes are still good underneath, and adjust the wheel bearings a bit. What else? Brakes are new. Yeah, we adjusted the front wheel bearings. Uh, we might have to lower the back a little bit because it's much higher than the, the front. Hmm. Um, but yeah, everything is stock standard. Everything's there. It just needs a good clean. That's it. But the paint, like, it's unbelievable. It's straight as, yeah. No, it's, yeah, it's filthy, but it's, um, it's just super straight. Everything's there. Yeah. Probably the worst worst part of the car is probably this front bumper. That's it. Uh, the roof lining, I don't know. And the roof lining. Normal um, But, yeah. Unexpected, but... Now, yeah, so can we get it ready? For track day. Yeah. So we've got a track day coming up. And we're going to take this boost. Which you may have seen is up for sale. But. It's up for sale but it's not really up for sale. If, if the right offer comes along we'll sell it. But. It's just too good to sell. The white sprint. 
we still got, we just got to get the exhaust done for it. We sent the steering wheel away to get re-trimmed. Um, we haven't forgotten about that. Just room. Just room. End time. The room. So who wants a charade? <laughs> All right, manifold cover's coming off. Is that what you call it? Manifold cover, yeah. Engine cover. Engine cover, manifold cover. Wow, look at it, look at, just look at it. Freshy. So we're gonna remove the alternator, change the regulator, because it's um, not good things. Doing funny things. We got a new overflow bottle in order just to pretty it up a little and then we're going to work our way to the back and there's nothing wrong with it but we're going to pull the pump out and just inspect it because we don't want something to happen to it um, looks like it's been off before because it's marked so look nine times out of ten it's probably going to be new under there cuzzy, cuzzy. <laughs> Jesus but yeah pull that off check it like Rob was saying before We've got a one second. We've got a track day coming up with uh, DNA and motorsport towing, like a joint thing, private track day. And I've sold my S2000. I don't know if people know, but I've sold it. Got offered a good amount of money for it, and I took advantage of all the inflated prices. So I don't really have a track toy. So we've got the charade and the two Falcons. Which maybe we'll take the two Falcons and just have a bit of fun. We won't be setting any lap records, but. It's all about having fun, eh? So, yeah, this 2000 is gone. I've got to set off all the turbo parts for it because that didn't happen. Um, um, like I was saying before, we're, we're contemplating selling it and we put it up. You know, we had good offers 10, 10 and a half, which is really good considering. But look, we don't need to sell it if we did and we've got good money for it. We'll put the money into the into the Falcons, but um, yeah, we're not going to let it go for nothing because it's costed us 11, 9, 10 grand to build it. And I know when you modify cars, you don't get your money back yet, but it's just too fun. It's just, it's just too fun. So, um, yeah, look, we'll see what happens. It doesn't sell. Mate, more than happy to. We'll take it to, might take it down to um, get a dynode, see how much power it's making, because we've had a few questions asking, and we're curious ourselves. And, you know, we've just tuned it ourselves on the street, and from what we used to do back in the day, or what we used to do back in the day on these things, so pretty simple. But, um, yeah, it'd be good to see what sort of power it's making. We'll see. So a bit more of a look into the Falcon. Steering wheel's off because it's on the Sprint and the Sprint steering wheel is getting re-upholstered and redone. Um, so yeah, all original. Really good condition other than the roof lining which is you know standard on these guys. I think it came out from the factory to be honest. Um, 110,000. Everything's all there. That's the money right there. Um, doesn't have original floor mats, probably that's the only thing that's missing. But it's just too clean. But you'll still give it a shampoo because it's probably still got 20 years of you know dirt sitting on it, but it is crazy clean. Dashboard's all good, no cracks. Um, yeah, so this is her, mate. Good little pickup. <laughs> Like I was saying, we've seen it go up for sale on car sales that night, and with the price that was posted on, and we knew he was going to get bloody bombarded with messages. So I just sent him a text, just called him, no reply. Sent him another text, said, "Mate, won't negotiate yet. We'll come get it tomorrow." He managed to call me the morning. We pushed all our jobs back. Sorry, guys, if you were the customer that day, and um, went down to Wollongong. Picked it up, threw it on the car trailer, brought it back, started the ups, we couldn't start it over there, battery was dead, all was good, and then went back to work, and now we're just slowly tinkering away at it, doing a few little things that it needs, but yeah, it doesn't need half the things the Sprint needed, and the Sprint still needs a lot of work, you know, body wise, but it's still a Sprint, so yeah, work on this thing, get this thing nice and running, we'll get it registered soon once it's um, good to drive on the road. And it's got a funky alarm we're getting rid of. So yeah, that's really it for this video, guys. We um, just wanted to update you 
haven't pulled that out yet. Just wanted to update you on uh, what's happening with us and work-wise, detailing-wise, we're booked out till end of Jan. We're taking bookings for February, which is awesome. Um, I know it sucks for you guys when you ring and you know you got to wait that long, but you know you like us that much. Sometimes we're happy to wait. Nah, but yeah, nah. We're gonna um, we're gonna try to address that issue and try to bring those wait times down. Um, yeah, charade. EB Falcon and the Sprint. Just a little update, just to keep you in the loop. Um, we do have a, a vlog series or a video series in store for YouTube, so stay tuned for that. We'll release more info on that. Um, happy days, hope everyone's doing well. And if you haven't seen, we dropped a new product, a multi purpose um, cleaner, MPC, all purpose cleaner, whatever you want to call it. And all our usual products are still out and about so um jump on that links down below until next time thanks for watching